Making the canopy was a lot like making the cow in that I used a blue foam plug. So I started by gluing up enough of the blue foam sheets to get the right height for the canopy. Now the plans only gives you a plan or top down view and a profile or side view of the canopy. It does not give you the overall bubble shape that you would see if you were standing in front of the airplane looking at it. So I needed to start by copying the outline of the plan and profile views from the plan onto the blue foam plug and then start sanding and shaping. I have the plan view of the canopy plug done. It took about uh, an hour between using the hot wire cutter and then sanding with the 36 grit. It took about an hour. Sides are square. I had to add a little piece right here to cover the top of the canopy. So now time to start working on the profile view. All right, that's pretty close. It's probably about as close as I'm going to get. So I've got a square plan and a square profile. Now comes the visualization part, the artistic part. There is no straight on view on the plans of the canopy to get the rounded shape. So I'm going to have to, I guess, look at pictures of the airplane on the internet and just kind of visualize the roundness and start, start slowly shaping the sides and, until I can get something that looks about right. Canopy is about 80% shaped going a little faster than I had expected it to. You notice the fuselage at the front where the canopy meets it is very shallow curve. Not quite flat, but very shallow. But you would think from looking at the plans that it would really be kind of a nice little curve here. And that's kind of what I drew in with my marker, kind of a curve. But that's not going to work. I think if I have a curve, it's just going to create problems here because of the shallow curve of the fuselage. So I got to figure out exactly how much of this forward canopy part to have with the shallow curve so that it'll, I'll get a good fit. I think my blue foam plug for the canopy is about as ready as I'm ever going to be able to make it. It's a little hard to get it perfectly shaped with such a big piece of blue foam but I did the best I could with it. It was given a coat of the sanding sealer and then it was also given some spackling compound. I believe it's a concrete spackling compound because that's what they use around here. It's a little hard to sand but it does feather very nicely and it's tough. So to help sanding that I used a criminal contour sander that helps quite a bit so now I'm ready to fiberglass it the reason I'm going to fiberglass this is I have found in the past when I tried to back form a blue foam plug it was either the vacuum or the heat or the combination of both that caused some big sinkholes I guess you'd call it in, in the foam so I found that if I fiberglassed it that would prevent that so I'm going to use one piece of six ounce cloth and then a piece of two ounce cloth. This has a very fine grain to it. Should make for a nice surface to pull the plastic over the plug.
A 45 minute pot life finishing resin was used to epoxy the fiberglass onto the plug. I did not use any sort of release agent on the plug because I actually want the fiberglass to adhere to the plug and strengthen it up. Also, I applied a generous portion of epoxy to all the three layers, the six ounce layer, two ounce layer, and the peel ply layer. Weight was not an issue here, but getting a nice smooth finish with the minimal amount of work was, so I was not sparing with the epoxy as I would for a part that's going to be a part of the airframe. This third layer is the peel ply layer. If you've seen any of my previous videos where I fiberglassed apart, you'll know that for me, the peel ply layer is a 100% polyester fabric, sometimes called China silk. This peel ply layer helps greatly in reducing the amount of work required to get a nice smooth surface prior to normally painting. But in this case, it'll help give me a smooth surface so I'll have a nice clear plastic canopy. Right, fiberglass is laid up, peel ply on top. It all went pretty well, about as good as can be expected. There is a little bit of puckering along the bottom here, but that's going to be okay because the canopy is actually going to end right about here. I just added excess along the bottom for this possibility that I would get puckering, and also it should help with forming as well if I get any kind of webbing. Hopefully that webbing will stay at the bottom part here and I'll be able to get a good, good pull out of it. Canopy plug primed and a black guide coat put on. It actually feels really nice with just the primer and black paint. There are a few areas that are gonna to need to be sanded back. But overall, pretty nice. I already sanded here just a little bit. But I think this might work out pretty well. A quick initial sanding. These black areas are the areas that are going to need to be filled in. These are basically areas where I cut the fiberglass to try to keep it from puckering. And this is where it overlaps a little bit. So just a little bit of spot putty in these areas and then we can continue sanding i'm using a little small block for this since this canopy is basically one giant compound curve i'm just using a small three inch by two inch block and i'm uh, wet sanding it first coat of primer and the guide coat have been sanded back this is all actually looking pretty good now feels really nice I think I need to give it one more go around with some spot putty in a few areas. Another coat of primer, sand back, and I think this might be ready for the vac forming machine. The plug is, I think, ready. I gave it two coats of gloss black paint. Then I went over it with a couple of coats of this Pardol mold release wax. And I buffed between the coats first with some cheesecloth and then a paper towel. It's about as perfect, I think, as I'm ever going to make it. It did take a couple of coats of body putty and sanding and priming and sanding and more putty. I think I got it about as well as I'm ever going to do, and I think it'll be good enough for this model. You'll see I added some blue foam triangles to the back. I was afraid of, uh, I think the term is negative draft, where the, the plastic would get sucked down here, and then I wouldn't be able to get the plastic off the plug. It'd be kind of captured. So the blue foam triangles are there to hopefully prevent that. 
They're also there to try to take up any excess plastic in the process that causes webbing. We'll see how that goes. I do need to be up front right here and say that I have not done a whole lot of back forming. I've used this machine maybe three times and the plugs or the canopies that I did pull were much smaller than this. Maybe a third of the size of this plug right here. So I don't have a lot of experience. I have no experience with the big stuff like this. We'll see how it goes. I got this machine from Mike Gray of Sky Shark Models. When he got out of the business, he sold his equipment. And I was looking to get a vac forming machine. I was, thought I was going to have to make one of my, of my own. And I was kept putting that off. And when I saw this for sale, I snapped it up. So I got the uh, machine. And I also got a large assortment of plastic. This is 30 thousandths of an inch uh, plastic. I'm going to use this as kind of a practice. I don't have much use for this uh, opaque white. But I also got some clear 30 thousandths of an inch. It still has the protective covering on it for, for right now. So I'm going to try first with the, uh, the white and then I'm going to proceed to the clear if the white is successful. Just about ready to go here. I have the white plastic um, clamped in the uh, frame. Over here is the heating element. This is the vacuum element. I am going to add my shop vac. This has vacuum to it. But I'm going to add a little bit uh, vac more vacuum with my shop vac. There is a port over here for that. It seemed to kind of work better the last time I used this machine and it has been a couple years since I've used this. So apparently I did not get this edge far enough clamped in to the frame and as you can see it pulled away. So the good news is that I saw how this plastic reacts with the heat. It's just like the clear. It gets all deformed, all misshapen, and then all of a sudden it just kind of everything smooths out and it looks all uniform again. And that's when I brought it over. I re-polished the plug with my cheesecloth. Some of the wax appears to have, I don't know if it's melted or what. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, so how about a opaque canopy that I can paint black or something? I mean, that would work, wouldn't it? I hope the clear comes out this well. I'm for my limited experience level with vac forming, I'm pretty happy with that piece right there. Now let's see if I can get it out. So my little wedges I just glued in with hot melt glue, it was quick. So that wasn't really up to task. These are pretty well um, captured by the plastic. Before I pull these wedges out and try to glue them back to the plug, I've put the plug back in and I'm gonna try something. I've read on other forums where you get a better looking canopy if you pull one canopy and then pull another one over top of that one. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, I've got the plug back in. I'm going to sand this with 320 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to try to pull the clear over top of this one. I don't want to pull two clears because I want to try to save my clear plastic. I have a limited supply so I'm going to go with this one and try to pull the clear of this one and see how that works.
So once again, this rubber stripping on both sides is pulled away. I put it back into position, but it has a sticky adhesive to one side of it. And I think that adhesive is finally giving up the ghost. Uh, it's just gummy now. It's not really holding the rubber stripping in place. So I'm gonna have to try to find something to replace it with, I guess. I don't know how old this machine is and this, I guess it's weather stripping. It's probably original, but you can see how it's just kind of a gummy mess now. And that allows it to, the weather stripping to slide around. I did it on both sides. And I'm really not sure what to use. I replaced the weather stripping with just some regular old household weather stripping. It looks to be about the same type stuff. The only question is, is it the right thickness? It needs to be, you know, thick enough to where it can capture the plastic and keep it from pulling away. I don't know, I'll have to just try to, a pull here and see what happens. Yeah, it pulled away again. I don't know, maybe I'm not heating the plastic enough. It looked to be about right. All right. So I thought I would try to recycle this. I took the uh, used piece and kind of turned the machine on, heated it up, kind of pulled out the sides a little bit as it started to soften up, clamped it back in the frame. And then I thought, hey, let's just, let's keep heating it up and maybe I can recycle this. It can't hurt, right? So that's what I did. I heated it up really well this time. Um, until I could see absolutely no sag, no change in the plastic at all. And then flipped it and I think I might have a good canopy. I think I might just be able to go with this right here.